think it's safe to say that. We're going to stop there, boys. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Six of six, man. You already know today's Tuesday. And well, actually, you don't already know. <laughs> today's Tuesday. We do front squats every Tuesday. And I'm currently nursing a minor injury, I guess, if you want to call it. I'm not calling it an injury because my brain starts to think I'm injured. But it's, it's a minor strain in my hip flexor and lower back over here on the left side. And so lately, I've been having to modify some of my workouts. And if you guys didn't already know, I don't necessarily put off an entire training session just because I'm feeling a strain or some minor pain somewhere in my body. In most cases, I just kind of scale the movement to facilitate whatever it is that's nagging me. So today we're doing some front box squats and actually I'm using a bench just because the bench is a little bit lower than any one of the boxes that we have here. And that bench is gonna take me just to about parallel. So let's start to get warmed up, work through some of those numbers. If I start to feel a little bit of pain at any point in time throughout this workout, I'm just going to pretty much cut my workout for that particular movement right there. Or I might lower the weight to something and do like some drop sets at a really light weight. But in any case, we're still going to knock out some front squats as well as some push press. Let's get to it. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. This. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'm being incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to say the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But it's to say Something not a magic Something not a skeptical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up No, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it At least I know 255 is kind of where I'm at right now in terms of strength on the front squat. Um, I could definitely feel like if I didn't have this, I would be in excruciating pain right now. I can tell you that off top. And so I probably wouldn't even be able to do 185 without this because the pain would be just be too much. But fortunately, this has helped me to at least get, you know, a few, a few sets in, um, a few reps of three, a few sets in, and so I'm happy because at least I'm not going like another week 
without getting under something decent like 255. 255 is decent. I'm not going to shit talk 255 on the front squat. I, I, I remember not too long ago I was doing 255 on the front squat for like reps of four max. So I'm not scoffing at 255 whatsoever. Let's get it popping with these push presses. Like I said, I'm not feeling too much pain in the lower back when it comes to doing push press. So I think I'm just gonna keep pushing forward more or less with the same uh, training methodology that I've been sticking with. And um, so this is 165 right here. I think I should be able to get up to 225 for five, hopefully anyway. See how it goes. I think I'm gonna lower the rep scheme from five to three, just because I wanna take a little bit more time for each rep. I wanna recock like each and every single rep. I don't wanna do um, whatever touch and goes. And so from this weight up, I think I'm gonna like do the push press, re-rack, reset, re-engage for two and then three. should stop there. Shh. That was sloppy. I think it's safe to say that. We're gonna stop there, boys. I'll end up doing two drop sets at 135 just to just to round things out, but I think that's about it, man. I can't complain. I enjoyed the front squats. I enjoyed those push presses. I'm a little disheartened though. I'm still an athlete, man. You know, I'm, I'm just like you. I, I don't feel fulfilled when, when I'm like on task or when I'm not on task for lifting a certain amount of weight. So like if you're a weight lifter or a strength um, oriented athlete, you could definitely feel 
what's going on in my head right now. You gotta keep pushing on, right? It's not like injuries just magically go away. They're definitely something you have to cope with. You almost have to plan for injuries to happen so that when they do happen, you don't feel like you're getting knocked off your saddle. You know what I mean? But anyways, man, like I said, I always want this content to be the most authentic that it can possibly be. You will never see sponsors on this channel. You'll never see like right in the middle of my video. Boom. Check out these knee sleeves because it's sponsored by this knee sleeve company. I think that's cheap. And I also just want to express my appreciation to any one of you guys that are subscribed to this channel who hang out with me for the 10 or 15 minutes. I don't take it lightly that you guys are watching my videos, man. If content like this interests you, check out some of my other videos on this channel. This channel is not about recommending what you should do. I'm just sharing with you what I do. Boom. I'm out.